Weird things happen with Google My Business or the Google Business Profile. So what do you do? Actually, Google has made it very easy to reach out to them and actually get a response. This is new information in 2023. I'm gonna show you guys how to reach Google by phone, chat, or email. Plus, I'm gonna give you five things that you can do to make sure that Google actually responds to you and helps you with your problem. I've been doing this since 2009, and there's lots of mistakes that I've made over the years, but I can tell you right now, there are certain things you can do to make sure that Google likes you, wants to respond to you, and wants to help you. So let's get started right now. Okay, so we jump over to my screen here, we're on Google. Basically, what I'm gonna do is type in my business name, Big West Marketing. I'm gonna search for that, and you'll notice I am logged into my Gmail account, the Gmail account that I originally opened up the Google My Business profile with. And if I'm logged in, I'm gonna see all these little options here. This is the new way in 2023 to edit your Google Business account, okay? The dashboard is gone. This is the new way to do that. I have another video with details, but this is how you do it. And so what you're gonna see are these three little dots up here next to your business name. You're gonna go down to help and support. Then you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see this little box that says contact us, okay? You can also go to the help community and I will have a different video all about how to interact in the help community and use that as well. But in this one, I wanna contact Google directly. I wanna get a response directly from a Google representative. So I'm gonna click this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is select my business. If you have more than one business there, it'll be in the drop down. I only have one business to select. Now, I'm gonna start typing in what I need help with and Google will give me some options. So, we just had a recent problem with one of our clients where we couldn't change the URL. So, can't change URL, enter. So, let's see, any of these apply. I'm gonna click uh, fix URL information, next step. Okay, so now it's gonna give me these resource options here, but I'm gonna skip that because I wanna go directly to where I can talk to Google. Okay, now you're gonna see a, an option for chat, you're gonna see an option for call, and you're gonna see an option for email. Now when you click on any of these, for example, let's click on email, it's gonna ask for your name, that's your personal name, okay, what your relationship is with the business. Hopefully you're the owner, or if you're working on this for somebody else, you can say I am you know, uh, an employee of the business, it gives you lots of options here. Uh, of course, you want to put in your email address so they can respond to you. You want to put the phone number, the phone number that's associated with the business. Hopefully, you can put that in there. So if Google needs to call you, then they can call that exact number and match it up with the business you have registered. Of course, you want to have your business name, the exact business name that you have registered with Google. If your business name has changed a little bit or if you have variations of your name, Make sure you go back and check and see exactly what your business name is on Google. So in my case, it'd be Big West Marketing, Inc. I want the comma, I want the period, I want everything to match up with that, okay? Now the business address, this is the physical address. And Google puts a lot of importance on the address that you register with Google. Even if your address is hidden, okay, and people can't see it, that's okay. You still wanna put your physical address that you originally registered with Google when you set up the Google My Business account. Very, very important. Now, Google's gonna ask for your Maps link. I'm gonna show you exactly how you do that. First, you go over to a new tab and type in maps.google.com. And when you're in Maps, when you're in Google Maps, then you're gonna search for your business. It was marketing. There it is. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna copy this big, long website address here. It's gonna go on for a little bit. I wanna highlight that. I wanna click copy, go back here. And paste that big long address in. And that's it, just make sure you have that big long address in there with all the different numbers and letters and symbols. Okay, now we're gonna go put your business website. Hopefully you have a website and you can put that in there. Then of course you wanna address the problem that you're having, describe your issue, and if you've ever contacted Google for this before, you'll have an email with a case ID. So make sure you put that case ID in here. That's very important. And if you submit this multiple times, then you will have issues. Now, like I said, there are five really key things that you need to know about before you contact Google. I'm gonna explain those all right now. But real quick, if you like the information that you've seen so far, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, 
ask them in the comments below. I will get back to you. Now back to the lesson. So one thing you can do to increase the chances of Google actually helping you in solving your problem is to provide screenshots, okay? So Google's gonna get back to you by email and then what you can do is respond to them with screenshots. If you see my other video on how to fix a Google review, you've seen three different screenshots that I took and I provided them to Google and within two days they fixed my problem. It's very important if you can provide as much proof as possible and as much detail as possible, the better chances are that they're actually going to respond to you and fix your problem. Number two, you need to be respectful. This is a free service that Google is offering. You're not paying for Google My Business or the Google Business Profile. So these people will respond to you if you are kind and respectful to them. A lot of them are not in the United States and their English may not be perfect, that's okay. They will be very helpful if you're kind and respectful to them, okay? Google's not after you, Google's not trying to hurt your business, they actually are trying to help you. And even if you are mad and you think that Google has it out for you, still calm down before you fill out anything, before you do anything, get in the right headspace and be kind and respectful to these people that are just trying to help you. Number three, patience. Sometimes it takes two days for Google to get back to you, sometimes it takes a full week. Okay, if you are patient, then you will have the best chance of Google taking care of you. And Google is a business just like everybody else. They have busy periods and they have slow periods. If it's a slow period for them, they're probably gonna get back to you within a day. If it's a busy period, it might take a week. It might take even more. So keep that in mind, patience. Number four, read everything carefully. Every email that you get, every correspondence, every phone call, every chat, make sure that you take detailed notes with timelines and you wanna know everything that's going on. Some of these problems can be kind of complicated and they can take a long time to figure out, even if it's just a weird buggy problem that Google is trying to fix. But the better organized and the better understanding you have of everything they're trying to tell you, the better off you're going to be. So like I said, read everything carefully. And number five, don't duplicate. Like I said, this goes back to patience. If you submit a ticket and you don't hear anything the next day, don't go and submit a brand new ticket for the exact same thing. This will slow the process down. Like I said, have patience, give Google some time. They have busy times, they have slow times, just like you. So like I said, don't make duplicate requests. And that's it, I hope this helps out. Like I said, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I got lots more where this came from. And if you're looking for help actually ranking, not necessarily solving technical problems, but actually ranking your business on Google My Business, and I have this free cheat sheet for you. If you click the link down in the link in the description, I'm gonna give you this free sheet. And what it is, is it's a PDF. And these are all the things that we do for our clients to get them to the top of Google My Business and get their phone ringing and get people coming through the door. And there's also these little links right here within each one of these steps here. And you can go deep into a video on each one of these things. And like I said, this is free. All you have to do is sign up below in the link in the description. Once again, my name is Joe Burnage with BigWestAcademy.com and I will see you in the next video.